blessings before this wonderful message from my father in the lord late archbishop bensi idaosa i'd like to share information about anointedtube.com with you the number one christian video sharing website today anointedtube.com this is a powerful site believed to be the top most Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as one of the best video sharing website according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. You can as well share our video on all social media platforms. The World Database of Christian Precious, positively touching and changing lives around the world. It is a great Christian video sharing website. The Lord bless you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now.
The reward of wisdom is so close. When you lack wisdom, when you lack activity, when you lack creativity, your family don't need to curse you. Witches and wizards don't want to cast spell on you. It simply means you cannot have freedom because only truth can make somebody free. This is our bishop's son in Mori, Bishop Abu Mapa. He plays this instrument. Inside this keyboard, if he plays it with meaning, houses and cars are inside there. One successful album, one. One successful musical album that can hit a record can give him all he needs for the rest of his life. Francisco makes millions of dollars every year from trumpet. Many people who pursue a profession with accurate meaning make a living without suffering. If he will improve on it and grow in it and make it a professional thing added to his university education, he can brag in performances and taking concerts. For the rest of his life, when he finally gets married, his wife and children will never suffer through that small issue if he put his eyes on it. The flute boy that I was saying just now, if he really gives himself training in playing that instrument and finally arrange for people like us and the rest who are professional musicians in action for other training, I, I, come on, maybe they are not, they just think you play guitar and that is your life. In graduating end of this year, is a special optometry on ophthalmology. Who sees to the eye? He can pull eye out and put it on the table, prepare it and put it back. <laughs> he brings it and you are calling him guitar boy here. That's how you'll be watching him. Playing that instrument to worship God, satisfactorily, yet pursuing his training to make a living. When you are in a church where your pastor is a dundee, all he will train you to do is to clap and sing and pray. But when you are with somebody who would like me with sound mind, <laughs> an excellent story, and another story, I tell you that unless you diversify yourself, you'll be entrapped. Each one of us is giving praise with millions of cells inside. And it is said that no one single human being is able to tap to 10% of the totality of the wisdom of God given to everyone. I'm not sure I've tapped that 5% of all man. Yes. Never mind about light. I told you how to cast out darkness. If I buy diesel. Now, if you are in the church, <coughs> And all you come here to do Make what we call the best of the best of Venice. Any 
anywhere we go in this country, they will rush your cassette. At 100 Naira, if you, if you make 1,000 tapes, at 100 Naira, I'm, I'm going to know what that one will be. 100,000. If you make 2,000 tapes, at 100 Naira, you make 200,000. And it will not be enough to sell in five weeks. Money is just around you. But your sales are captured in redundancy. And you are praying. Our father. Yes. God is hearing, but your brain is not responding. And until your praise bow to your dullness. I mean, your dullness bow to your brilliance. You continue to struggle as if your prayer is not answered. I'm here with you. I am not envious of your success. I'm not jealous of your upward life. But you have yourself to blame. If of all I teach, you end up in bankruptcy. Not because God didn't favor you or I didn't teach you truth. It's not that your IQ was zero outside zero. And for tonight, you are to be anointed for the spirit of excellence that we So that what God says will come to pass. These ones who say the what are you studying? Come here. And Victor, you understand that I give you one month to produce your own album. One month. Not I will sponsor the cost of it. What are you reading? English major. English major, final year. The people you see here singing and dancing, I will not allow her to give anybody microphone if it's not promising for future. Not one. If you cannot go to school because you can't go to school because of money, I sponsor you. Most of them are all on scholarship. To graduate and have a better future, the tie this one will be paid very soon. And this one will be more than the school fees I'm paying for them now. I'm showing ahead of time. I'm not a fool, I'm showing I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do you hear me? But this is the time they need help. You are hearing what I'm saying. I'm planting. Give me the basket I brought there. I'm so lazy. I hope you are following my message. All right. Out of this gun, one, what will you call this in the uh, cup? Uh, corn cup. If you take it and clear a properly nourished ground, you can have best three basket food, big bowls, dressing, and bowls of fresh corn in four months, out of this one. Are you hearing me? Every farmer that takes a corn like this and bless it and go to farm, cut the grass, till the ground, give it little fertilizer, of course, you know that the corn of this day don't suffer like the corn of those days. The corn you plant nowadays, you can tell when it can be eaten. In those days, corn, I have to wait to... until you go, go, Before you think corn is going to come out. These days, in America now, there's a new method of corn. Must not be more than three feet. And each is allowed. I mean, each of them can bring at least four like this. Each one, three feet. Two on this side, two on this side, food. All nourished. In Benin Parable, it was said of Kakweriako. Go and find out, agriculture has changed it. You can plant it now and eat it. All those Dundee Gatru teachings, you inherited traditionally and by tribalistic uh, uh, effort, you have to bury them to enter Christianity in reality. After this, basket of From this one orange, this one. If you sit here, I'm taking a drive and 
arrested. Three years from now, and of course this is federal law in for this way, is 15 months to start to produce. One year and three months. You can start to have that. It's in my company, it's plenty there. This afternoon I was telling the children that came to visit me. Corn is in this compound. Coconut is in this compound. Papua is in this compound. Mango is in this compound. Every fruit you can think of, only few out of season will buy. All other ones are within my compound. Creativity with great objectivity can delete it, can detach you from over the list. Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. You are glad to be children of God. Open your mouth and say, Ah. Proverbs 3, verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Let me tell you my interpretation of understanding. I'm about to come here. Uh, uh, where's the rich, my little pastor from? Stand there. Come on. Pastor Kongo Jun. Otherwise known as Mr. Prince. Alright. Now, this one is under us. Yes or no? But why is he now? Is he standing or sitting down? He's under, but he's standing. Under. <laughs> <Under. laughs> Put your hand here. But I put your hand on top of my own. Is it below our hand? Is it lying down? Even though it's all that, what is he doing? <laughs> One day you will discover, no matter how low you are, if your face stands, your mind will never pass. Understanding. Get wisdom. That's what the Bible is encouraging you tonight. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. Did you hear that? Wisdom provides you quicker results than lottery and plan well. That's what he's saying here. Men who don't know the God they serve try lottery. The district governor of Michigan State was holding seminar with all the counselors of the state two months ago. And he gave them a breakdown of every lottery that has been encouraged to come to the state of Michigan. He proved to all of them, and pastors were there, like dear pastor and dear wife, Bishop Coletta, who gave me this report. That until they make 30 million, nobody wins 1 million. <laughs> so, for every 10 million that they give as big price, times 30, 300 million, before they give 10 million. So if you are praying lost, you only one smile while the rest cry. But if all of us apply wisdom, all of us can smile together. Look at verse 13 and 14 again. Happy is the man, say I will be happy. Say it again. Oh, you know what happiness brings? It brings happiness. Daily happiness. Get happy. When you look at your health, health, look at your life, effectively successful, 
You are happy. Nobody is there. Nobody will ever say, G. G. Come on. Try, try. Hold it for one minute, alright? G. 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 Uh -huh. Oh, oh, it's too wide. Close it a bit. Photographer does not dictate the content of your heart. And when there's contentment, there's no controversy. Read it very loud. One, two, go. 
Three years ago, one person supplied us a block of 16 million. 16 million in one year for block. The Christian here asked, Papa, pray for me. I will pray. Some believer will take it and go. He's dancing away. Christians are praying home. It's a ba 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 ba. It's a ba 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 ba. What do you know is a boy? Okay. Unbelievers. Sam, the lady who taught me in St. Patrick came to ask for 50 trips of sand. And I said, what, what will stand from each of you? He said, if I supply 50 trips of sand, I'll make 200 by trip. Times 50, 10,000. In one week. She said, tree of life. Then that lay hold upon her. And happy is everyone that rejected her. The Lord by wisdom had founded the earth. By understanding had he established the heavens. Somebody say big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 8. Mama said I should tell you. From where she is, she's with you. She has told me to join you in the 10 o'clock service in the morning. I will be there. I will be there. I said I will be there with you tomorrow. Something different will happen in your life this year. You were caught before that was ugly. The same people will change their tongue on your behalf. Yeah. It's your year. Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 10. Methodist is not suffering today. 
his children's children are not suffering. The man who invented bicycle, when we were using bicycle in this time, we know how much bicycle cost. Some shillings, some pounds. I think bicycle is almost 5,000 naira now. Huh? I'm talking about real bicycle. It's 40 something thousand. Go and find out, nearly 40 thousand. For white rally. So far, bicycle. The person who said that bicycle is not something to them. Do you hear me? Think of the person who invented sewing machines. Do you know that I did a research this trip I went to? How many of you know the drink called Seven Up? Way behind you know Seven Up. That white, clean, water, sugar, mixed Seven Up. If you know it, raise your hand. I was in the town of the man who found that Seven Up last week. He said, you know why it's called Seven Up? He tried six times and everything fell. So when he tried it the seventh time, he said, this time I'm up. <laughs> seventh time I'm up. That's why the drink came to the concert. I was in the town last week. Yes, roads of suffering have music and many times tongues and kisses. But he that then showed it to the king. The same shot. Oh yes. You know it's difficult to climb. But when you get to where you are going, you balance up. You also know that when you are ready to drive, two hands cannot even carry the steering. So heavy. Mm. When you want to enter corner. Mm. Mm. But after you are used to steering, you can put one finger. <laughs> you sometimes you wait for people so that they can know you are the one passing. But when you are learning how to drive, you greet anybody when they greet you. that because the road bent at the end of the tree. If I had followed what I experienced when this ministry started, I wouldn't be here tonight. Andrew, you can tell that. We used to sleep ACC campground in Irua. Primary school in Fabogida Ora were my bed. All the blue skies were my canopy. And the wooden stage and Plank on top of drum on my platform. It didn't stop where I was going. Even when I, I got strained, I didn't stray. Today, mention the name of living ministers. I'm among them. How? I refused to foul when I was fouled to suffer. First to suffer. Wisdom tells you. It's rough today to be niche tomorrow. Amen. And I have the divine audacity to tell you your end of suffering is very close. Amen. If you can follow my teaching. And if you follow God in the way I believe this message is blessing you. Please visit and share videos on anointedtube.com, the world database of Christian preachers, to help us reach. 100 million people the message continues after this video about anointed you you can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of god preachers prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. 
We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preacher's pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Hello, this video is about Archbishop Bensi Idaosa, his early Christian ministry testimony. As a young Christian, I once heard my pastor say during a morning service that Christians could raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe it with my, all my heart. And flying around on my bicycle in those days, I went through the city of Benin in Nigeria in search of a dead person to raise to life. After five hours of hard session, I found a company where a little girl had died a few hours before. The corpse had been cleaned and prepared for burial. I walked boldly to the father of the child, the God whom I serve can bring your baby back to life. I told him, Will you permit me to pray for the child and bring her back to life? The man was startled, but he agreed. I walked into the room and up to the bed. The child was cold and dead. With strong faith in the Lord, I called on the Lord to restore the child back to life. I turned to the corpse and called it by name. Arise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God, the corpse sneezed heavily. Alas, the child had come back to life. God is Bensi Indaosa. Now, Bensi Indaosa childhood. Bensi Indaosa was born in Benin City on September 11, 1938, to a pagan parents. He was a sickly infant who was always fainting. As a result of his constant illness, his father ordered the mother to throw him in the dustbin. When he was 18, year, 18 months old, he was left on a rubbish heap to die. He was rejected by his father, sent to work on the farm as a servant, and was denied education until he was 14 years old. His education was irregular due to the poor financial status of his parents. He later took correspondence course from Britain and United States while working in Bather Shoe Company. His conversion and call to ministry. His conversion was drastic and his calling supernatural. He was converted by Pastor Akos on a football field on one Sunday afternoon while playing soccer with his teammates. Thus, young, Bens young Benson became the first Benin member of Pastor Akos' small congregation. As a young convert, he became very zealous in winning souls and in conducting outreaches in villages around Benin City. He was called to the ministry in a night vision from the Lord. I have called you that you might take the gospel around the world in my name, preach the gospel, and I will confirm my words with signs following, said the voice from heaven. The room was filled with the presence of God as Benson fell to his knees before the Lord. Wherever you want me to go, I will go. He prayed through the night, renewing his vows to God and interceding for his people who were yet to hear the message of salvation. 
After his call, Benson launched into ministry, work preaching from village to village. The gospel of, the, of, of Jesus Christ with great power and anointing. More people confess Christ as their Savior and more healings occur as he prayed for the sick. Expansion of his ministry and his credentials. Archbishop Benson Daosa, the Archbishop himself and the founder of Church of God Mission International Incorporated with his headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria, established over 6,000 churches throughout Nigeria, Ghana before 90, 1971. Many of the ministers he supervised pastored churches of 1,000 to 4,000 people. In addition to filling the position of Archbishop of Church of God Mission, he was also, he, he was also President of All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, President of Idaosa World Outreach, and President of Faith Medical Center. He had positions in numerous organizations, including the College of, Bish of Bishop of the International Communion of Christian Churches and the Ora Robot uh, University in Oklahoma. He also earned a diploma in divinity from Christ for the Nation Institute in Dallas, Texas, which he attended in 1971, a doctorate of divinity in 1981, from the World Faith College, New Orleans, and a Doctor of Law degree from Ora Robot University in March 1984. He also received another degree, he also received other degrees from the International University in Brussels, Belgium. Archbishop Benson and his wife, Margaret Idaosa, were blessed with four children. Idaosa Supreme Tax. So winning was in Daosa primary consign with a motto evangelism our supreme tax. He worked towards his goal of reaching the origin Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a black African, he found the doors of African countries were wide open and he ministered in over 133 countries all 123 countries all over the world. Crusade played a major role in his ministry. He was involved at least one crusade per month. A record crowd of nearly one million people a night attended his Lagos crusade in April 1985. He established the Redemption Television Ministry with a potential viewing audience of 15 million people. What leading gospel minister said about Archbishop Idaosa. According to Mrs. Gordon Frada Lisser, President of Christ for the Nation Incorporated, Dallas, Texas, USA, I know of no young black in all Africa who is preaching, who is reaching millions as Benson is in crusade with hundreds of thousands in attendance in, in, a, in his weekly nationwide telecast, in his Bible school, training eager student from several nations. He also conducted campaigns in Sweden, Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, Australia, and United States, where he often appeared on national religious telecast. His burden for souls, his ministry of healing and miracles, even to the raising of several dead, demonstrate he is, uh, uh, is especially core of the Lord in this end time. Dr. Ben Akosa remarked, Benson Daosa is sought after by everyone in the state, from government officials to beggars. When they pose questions and explain their problem to this man, they receive instantaneous miracle solution, just as the people did in Bible days with God's prophet. The people got miraculous answer from his, from this mighty leader of God's people, said Daniel Oris. Benin City respect and salute this great man of God even at his death. I have been with him on visit to many officials, to the governor, to the powerful Benin tribal kings. He moved with God and his people knows it. 
His great miracle cathedral, his headquarters sit over 10,000 in 1981. His Bible school attract upper class people from different African nations and also come from Maurice, India, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, the Middle East, Europe and other nations of the world. A truly international Bible training center of dynamic faith. People know that Bishop Idaosa preached what he practiced. Dr. Idaosa evangelistic ministry has reached nations around the world. He was the first Af black African evangelist to shake Australia in a massive crusade that got national attention. His seminar have affected Christians and church leaders in many countries. I sincerely salute this man because he practiced among his own people what he preached to the world. Bensi Indaosa was a man who believed God's promises and that God's miracle provision applies to Africans as well as to Americans. He believed that African has a part in God's work and African will reap God's blessing. Evangelist T. S. Bond from Tulsa, Oklahoma remarked, Many who followed Idaosa's teaching have been saved from poverty and have learned to plant out of their des have learned how to plant out of their desperate need and to look to God as their divine source, thereby becoming prosperous Christians in their own land. Idaosa rose from the rank of an ordinary man to a world leader's leadership as a pastor, a builder, a counselor, a prophet, a teacher an apostle, an evangelist, a man of godly wisdom and of Christ-like compassion, whose ministry has blessed million, millions the world over. Idaosa was the greatest African ambassador of the apostolic Christian faith to the world. The secret of his success. Idaosa operated in faith. He had a robust faith. He believed and trusted God with a childlike faith. He once said that living a daily life of absolute faith in God is the only secret to great success. He believed God for everything. All things are possible to him that believes. He spent quality times in prayer and in the study of God's word. He said that if someone spent time studying the Bible and acting on it, people will come looking for that person for life solutions. It also, also spent time studying the works and the lives of other successful people, both in the gospel ministry and other faith of human endeavors. And he applied the principles he learned, he learned from these successful people to his life and ministry. He was very energetic, hardworking. One of the ministers who served under him said that he had never seen a man who worked as hard as Archbishop Benson Dawsa. He was committed and consistent, and he had confidence in himself. He was very humble and full of godly wisdom. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was said to be the leader of over 7 million Jesus people worldwide before he went to be with the Lord in February 1998. Now I'm going to talk about is early ministry again as a youth he got converted to christianity by a certain pastor Paul, and joined his, the flagging congregation as one of the first members he was very active and converting many to christianity after experiencing a revelation from god calling him into ministry he began to conduct outreaches from village to village before establish, establishing his church in a store in Benin City. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was well known for many notable quotable quote, quotes, including, My God is not a poor God. Your attitude determines your your attitude determines your attitude. It is more risky not to take risk. I am a possibilitarian. A big head without a big brain 
is a big load to the neck. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. Among others, many of these messages on faith, miracle, and prosperity remain a classic among Pentecostal. He had strong links with international gospel ministers like Billy Graham, T.L.S. Bond, Kenneth Hagin, Penny Inn, Ryan Bonke, Maurice Cerullo, Ora Robert, amongst others, and took the gospel to 145 nations in his lifetime. At the time of his death in 1998, he had preached to more white than any black man and to more black than any white man. His desire to meet the need of the total man led him to establish several other arms of the ministry apart from the church. They include Faith, Metaplex, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, Word of Faith, Group of School, Benson Indaosa University, which is currently under leadership of a son, Reverend E. F. B. Uh, Idaosa, his wife, Margaret uh, Idaosa, is the current Archbishop of the Church. It was used by God to perform many miracles, including healing the blind, raising up 28 people from the dead at different times in his ministry. You must understand this powerful man of God that God used to affect the nation of the world. And I'm glad and privileged that he was my father in the Lord. I am honored to be a part of his anointing, a part of his, of his ministry. I want to ask you, please make sure you share these videos, this video, this particular video to bless all the people and make sure you have enough time to visit Anointed Tube, support Anointed Tube and let people all over the world around you, your village, your town, your city, your colleagues, your family, your friends, all your contact get to know about Anointed Tube. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this or, or watch this video. I believe that um, your life can never remain the same because God's servant was such a powerful, powerful, humble, great man of God that God used before he was called to be with him. I, and I'll say it again, I am grateful and I'm privileged to be a son to Archbishop Bensi in the house. The Lord bless you.